Good morning, everyone. Um, it's Black Friday, and half of America is out going crazy for deals. Stupidest thing that has ever been invented, for reals. Black Friday is ridiculous. I've only been one time that I can remember. I may have gone more than once, but the one time that I do remember, I went to Shopco, and me and one of my friends, we both had teenagers that wanted MP3 players, and so we were the second people in line. There was one person in front of us. We went like right after Thanksgiving dinner the night before. We we stood in line and they let everybody in and we knew exactly where the MP3 players were. So we go racing back to the electronics department. Um, the guy in front of us um, bought two MP3 players. And then we get up there. We, of course, I needed two because I had two teenagers at the time and my friend needed one and we were very excited because they were a really good deal and the guy said oh sorry we only had two the clerk the store clerk and we're like two how is that even possible and he says well legally we're only required to have what we show in the ad he said um, if there's different colors you know we have to have one of each color um, we have to have at least one on stock of whatever we show in the ad available he said, but we, we're not legally bound to have anything else in stock. So the guy in front of us who bought the two MP3 players, those were the only MP3 players they actually had for sale at this blockbuster price. So we were totally pissed off, realized the whole thing is a scam, and I have never wanted to go ever again because it was ridiculous. So, I mean, I, I realized that that was just my bad experience, but I still think the whole thing's stupid. So... For Black Friday now, I stay home and I eat leftover Thanksgiving dinner for breakfast and I just live my life at a snail's pace and let all those other people go crazy. And so today I thought I would introduce you to my snails because they are the slowest pets that I have and I feel like being opposite the flow today. So we're going to be... We're gonna do something totally different than the rest of America, and we are not gonna celebrate Black Friday. We are going to do the opposite and celebrate something very slow and cute. Okay, so these little guys are my mystery snails. Um, I just have two, but they are quite large. Um, they're about, they're a little bigger than ping pong balls. I don't like to pull them out of their habitat. I, this is actually just um, like one of those bug aquariums or bug terrariums that I turned into an aquarium for the snails because I wanted to keep their water at a certain level. Um, but they're just like the regular black ones, but somehow I ended up with a male and a female. So yes, I will probably have baby snails someday, but I don't mind because these guys are so cute. Okay, and you guys have seen these. These are my Roman Burgundy snails. Um, again, I just have the two. Um, this is the one that had the cracked shell. So these guys are actually pretty big. You can see her cracked shell a little bit better here. Um, these guys are about the size, actually they're about the same size as my mystery snails right now. Um, so I, I'm hoping they will eventually produce babies to lay eggs and produce babies, but um, I don't have them in the right habitat for that right now. These ones, however, are producing tons of babies. You can see all the eggs. Um, and these are just my, these are just the regular garden snails, like the little ones that my princess likes to collect and keep. And they're pretty small. They were mostly intended to be Voldemort's meals, but the little princess fell in love with them, so now they are pets, which is kind of ridiculous, but we're kind of crazy like that around here. And they are pretty cute. They're just adorable. And this is a full-size one, too. I mean, they, they don't get any much bigger than this. At least the ones that we've got. I'll, I'll show you the difference here. Okay, so this is one of my Roman Burgundy snails um, with one of the mature, full-size garden snails. And I'm not really sure what the garden snails are called, what their actual technical name is. Um, but, I mean, you can see the difference. This is... A Roman snail, the burgundy, and then this is the little garden snail on the top. So yeah, huge, huge, huge difference in size on these two. Um, the big Roman burgundies are the ones that they use for escargot for they eat these. So um, I also have trumpet snails, which 
are the ones that everybody considers a pest because they reproduce so quick. And here I can't find any. They're in my aquarium. Um, okay, here we go over here on the side. So these guys are just little aquarium snails. They're fairly small and they just kind of, oh, there's a tiny one in the pink uh, plant too. They kind of look like gravel when they're little, um, but they do get to be about a half inch in size. So I've got a couple of big ones in here and then the rest are just kind of small. So there it is, everyone. There is our Black Friday at a snail's pace. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in our next video.